hey there welcome to you in this tutorials in the last video we have done this section in this tutorials I am going to add next section so here is the reference so I said that we are following and in the next section we will add this image slider or gallery image slider so to do this first we need to download these images from here so I am going to download all the images okay we have downloaded the fruitful your gallery image now we are going to design our section so I am going to click on the edit with Elementor click on the add a new section select single structure or single column add carousel slider image carousel not image gallery so I am going to delete this one slide to show yes make this section full width no gap and full slide to show four or five slide to scroll one we know need the navigation dot just we need arrow okay and everything looks good now click on the update now refresh my browser to check the update we see the slider added here and it's sliding in the next we need to add block section like this one so let's start to design this section add a new section and going to copy this title and subtitle from here
took look at this one and directly drag and drop right here and change the title read news add this text it's okay and now we need to add block content here so to do this we need to add some blog post so i'm going to add blog post from my admin panel as there is no blog right now okay we have added the blog post to make our design more beautiful now i'm going to refresh the editor Now we can add our block super easily. Type block, drag and drop right here, and we just add title and content, no images. Now change the background color. change title color then font color content okay and finally change the button color looks good we can increase the font size of the title and font family font size line height You can also remove the read more. So it's look good.
remove the space from here or we can make the padding 20 pixel click update now refresh my home page wow it's look good and finally we'll add the footer section in the next tutorial